Today we're playing Spider Solitaire Random uh, with four suits, so it's a difficult one. I think the first objective is to try to get... to basically try to open up a column or two. Uh, this is a tricky spot here because there's two nines. I kind of want to keep the same suit together, but I think opening up a column should be a higher priority. So we're going to try this way, I guess. We've got two different sevens. We'll see. That could lead us somewhere. Let's try the six here. We also have the seven option. The, the one downside, of course, to, let's see, playing. All right, I'm going to back up here a little bit. Let's see, now that I know it's there, I'm going to put this eight here. I'm going to put the seven here, and then we'll play the six here. The idea is to play the jack. 10 and 9 there, and oh, this is really nice. We got something here. Uh, yeah, basically you want to open up open up those columns if you can. Uh, two different aces. I think this one gives us a 3. We could use that potentially. This one gives us a 5, which we could play as well. Oh, no, no, no. Bad play there, bad play there. Let's play the 5 here. Okay, so now we can play the 4. Now we can play, I think the 8 we'll play here. I think I'm going to go with this three, but I could change my mind. <coughs> the one issue we will have is this ten and this jack. We'll have to reconcile at a later time. Uh, but right now, I think the focus should be on just getting this. Interesting, interesting. Just getting the open column if we can. Uh, that's a tough one. Maybe we can make something work here. Let's see. This goes back here. I want to play the four spades. Okay. I may I may go back and do the other one though too. So two can go here. We'll play the three of spades here. So that's not totally a dead end. We have two sevens in play. That would be a dead end there. Let's try the other seven. Oh, that's a good card. Well, maybe. If we can get out of the uh, jam here. Let's try this ace. I'm going to gamble and go with this. The one problem we have is this 10 right here. We can't move, but we're, you're going to have that when you do this. What you got to do is try to open up the columns, as many columns as possible, and then... Uh, Try to reconcile that at a later time. So let's see here. I think we're going to build on this one here. So I'm going to play 10 and 9 there. The idea being to get this open here. So let's play the 6 there. I'm going to move the... F oh, yeah, I can move the 5 here. I'm going to use this 3 as a uh, ladder. And then play the f five here. Oh, okay. Don't like seeing kings at the bottom of columns, but we can open up another column here. We could also go this way as well if that doesn't work there. The one thing I want to be cautious of is building. I like to have this open here so we can move it. Uh, that way we can have more space to work. So it's not necessarily a good thing to have them all moving around, but we're going to try to see what we can get here. Because, hmm. like, yeah, I could take this two and put it here. Maybe that's not the best idea. Now the question is, do I want to go to the next round? I think I should try to to do a little more here, though. So I'm going to back up a little bit. We're going to see if we can do something a little differently. Okay, so we're going to go for a different angle here. We're going to go for this angle right here, playing the jack, and see what's under there. Now, kings, I, you can put down as many as you want underneath there. I just don't like to have other columns with a bunch of cards like this has a four under it. I don't like to have that if we can avoid it. All 
Okay. I think we're going to go with this like it is. And there's going to be an emphasis on... <clears throat> so, like, these are all the same suit. These are all the same suit. So if we nail a 10, we could play this here in the next round. Alternatively, if we figure out a way to consolidate this, is which we're going to try to do once we get another one of these open, we can we can do that as well. Let's see what we got next. Okay, so there's a 10 here. The tricky part is what do we want to go for? I think I'm going to go... Four here, three here, two there. I don't think I should play the ace. Well, you know what? This is garbage pile, so we'll play the ace there. Whoa, whoa, let's back this up here. Let me take this through. Maybe this three would be a better priority over this three right here. Although, if we play this three here, we could play under the seven. But that doesn't give us any play. Let's see what this does here. We can play here. Clubs go here. Spades go here, but we don't have any play. I mean, we go here, maybe. I'm not sure if that has a ton of play. Let's see what we can do. What we could... We could move this, though. Maybe that's enough play to make it worth it. I don't know. Let's see. Another 9 under there. That's not good. Ideally, if we move the queen and king over here... Just to give us more space. So now we have two columns. Which is what we want to try to do at some point. So, uh, 5, 4, 3... That was a nine, of course. We don't want to... Well, I guess it won't matter there. Let's see what's under this ace. A ten. That's kind of a big card. Play right there. Now we can play the eight and seven. Yeah, so we're going to just kind of try to consolidate as much as we can here. Now we can take advantage of this nine, or we can utilize this nine. So, uh, you want... Basically, what you want to do is you want to try to give yourself enough space to uh, work around this stuff. And then that way you can kind of slide the cards around. So we'll put the seven here. And let's see what else we have in play here. We could move this around a little more. Let's play this back this way. I'm going to shift the 9 here. We'll shift the 10 9 here. The idea is to play this jack right here under that jack. Let's see if there's any more consolidation we can do here. I think these clubs can go. So clubs can go there. Obviously, if we had a six of clubs, which we don't, we could put it uh, right here. I think we're just going to click on the next one and see what happens. I'm going to play, <coughs> I think I'm going to play this deuce and ace here and see what happens and hope I can move to one of these threes. If we have open columns, we can uh, get stuff done, so we'll see. That's not good to see a queen there. Play that there. Play this. The only downside is we're... Uh, there's, ba there's basically piles, and if we don't have open columns, we can't uh, work as much as we'd like to around them. Although I see another move. I've put this here with the idea that we can open up this spot right here. And 
Okay, let's see if I'm missing anything here. There is no six of clubs yet. There's no threes anymore. The both threes are taken up there. So we can't really play the ace deuce. Let's see, that's a diamond. We can't swap there. Is there an eight of hearts? Don't see an eight of... Oh, there is an eight of hearts right here, but that's not going to happen. We could swap here. I'm going to get the jack of clubs underneath the queen of clubs just to try to create some space for later. So This is going here. Jack goes here. Clubs go right there. And yeah, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to create as much space as we can. Because if you have all the same suit, you can you can shuffle the cards in and out uh, between each other, and then that way you could greatly increase your chances of uh, getting one of these out of the way. Let's see here. I think I want to go into the next one. I don't want to pull this jack. I was thinking about pulling this jack down and then doing that, but I don't think that's a good idea. <coughs> I think a better idea might be to go... Maybe put one of the sevens down, because then there's two eights we could possibly go to next time. Let's see what happens there. There's the kings. Yeah, I was kind of expecting kings at some point. Uh, well, the good news is we can open up a column. Well, the bad news is we won't be able to do this, move this jack yet. But let's, uh, let's do the nine there. Eight, seven, I think we could go six, five here. Or alternatively, we could play this five. Maybe that five. Okay, the only one I see that would be worthwhile would be going after this one, but there's not enough space to do it. Uh, now, the good thing is we did get this queen here. So we can actually move that around. Although, we can't do anything with this ace dues at the moment. We could do something with this ten if we could... Uh, deconstruct it. There might not be enough space there, though. We'd like to create some space, because then we could open up one of these other ones. And again, I I don't want I don't like bringing kings down to here, especially in this situation, because we can't do anything with it. If we could open up another column, then I would consider that, but otherwise I think it's a uh, generally not a good idea. Let me back up here. So the five came from right here. <coughs> we did open that up. Let's see if we can do anything else. Let's can we keep the six here. Oh no, we still can't do anything with that. Let's back up one more. What if we went here? Okay, that's a jack there. No, that doesn't work either. I think we try... Let's see what else. I could try to go for this. I don't like bringing this ace down because I think all our twos and stuff are used up. I'm going to unclick this. I'm going to click undo after this doesn't work. So we got an eight and a ten and a six. Yeah, I don't think this idea is going to work in this spot because we don't want to build on this eight. Although, we could do something here. Huh. This, one's, this one's becoming tough. Well, I guess they're all tough, pretty much. If 
play the six there. No, I'll play the six. Maybe. Let's see. Six five doesn't work there. Oh wait, we can play this. Oh no, we can play this now. Maybe maybe there is an angle here. Guess we'll find out. There's a three, we can play that. And we can play this too. Maybe we do have an angle here. Maybe we do. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh we'll play the two there. And then the question is, can we consolidate more, I guess? I would like to put this queen under a king. Though, I don't know if that's going to... Well, we'll see what we can do here, so... We'll shift this over to here. Nine, eight goes there. This goes here. And now we can put the queen under the king. Though I can't move this king here because that wouldn't give us any space. So that's not an option. Do we have another option, I guess, is the question. We could swap diamonds there. So heart goes there, and we can put the rest of the diamonds to here. And we could swap again on this one. So let's play this here. I'll put the diamonds there. So now we need to find the king of diamonds. There is a king of diamonds. I don't, oh, I see one right here. Getting to that would be a problem. But there is a seven here, and there is a couple, eight, one eight anyway. So that potentially is playable. I'll have to see if I can figure this out here. So, oh no, we won't have enough space, will we? Unless I do some more swaps. Let me think this through. Because we need more space here. That needs to go back. Let me think this through here. Same thing with this. This is a different suit. I would like to get this four under the five there. Let's see what other consolidation options we have. Maybe we could do this. Diamond goes there. We play this to here and then this goes right here. And now we can move the four. That's the other advantage of having a bunch of the same suit together. You can do swaps like that. I don't know if that makes sense. So, oh, that's really good to see that. That's a seven. We can play that. Uh, two, we can technically play. Well, we can't play it anywhere, but we can put the ace under it. So there's a four diamonds. We can play that. And a queen of hearts. Not sure if I want to go down all the way. I need the open column here. So let's back up a little bit. Let's make sure we have an open column first. We can either play this six here, or we can play this six here. I think this six is a better play because there's more cards in it. So we're going to go for that. And then having that open, extra open column. <coughs> so now we got two open columns. That's huge. It gives us a huge uh, spot. Now, there's just a queen there. So that's only one open column. I think I'm going to go for something different here. Uh, possibly going for this, we could put the five under there. That would work. We could also break this down and that the ace of diamonds could go uh, right here. Let's try that option here. Oops. Let me back it up again. We'll play the eight there, ace of diamonds there, and then we'll play this right here. Okay. So let's see what else we can do here. I guess more consolidation. There is no 8 anymore. Well, there is an 8 right here, uh, so we can't really do anything with that 7. I guess the next question is, which one of these could we get out of the way? Uh, like you said earlier, 
There's a King of Diamonds right here. We could get that. I don't know that it gives us a lot because it doesn't really open up a column, which is kind of what you want to do if you can. Um, yeah, the hearts we have up to the nine of hearts, and then there is no... I mean, there's eight seven of hearts here, so we could consolidate between these two columns. Let's try that. So four goes here. So yeah, it's basically just you could do a lot of consolidation. And then you keep working way down. So we could play hearts. Now we can play... Let's see. Put the six here. We're going to move the rest of the hearts that we can over there as well. So now we can swap there. Okay. The four hearts is the one we want. And then we can get rid of this. I think... I think we'll have enough space here. Let's see. Oh, no, we don't have enough space, do we? Yes, we do have enough space. We have a 9 right here, and we have an 8 right here. We need to put the this over there. So we're going to move this over. 8 goes here. 4 goes here. The 3 and stuff go here. Now we can play this down. We had just enough space there. We can play the hearts. Clubs go here, and diamonds go right here. But now, more importantly... We can get rid of that king of hearts. The question is, do we want to get rid of this one, or do we want to save for this one? There's only two kings of hearts. I think we'll go for this one now. Let's see if we can get some more luck later on. Uh, the good news is now we can play this five of hearts, too. So I'm going to move this down right here. Five of hearts can go here. Okay, so we have diamonds. The question is, can we open up enough space and that's a good question uh let's see we can play the seven now so seven can go here and then six five can go either here or here i like to keep them together so now we can play diamonds right there now we got our club set up there and i think there no yeah there is an ace deuce of clubs so we could finish this one <coughs> potentially i think we have enough we'll open up a column i think think eh, I'm rethinking let's back that up I don't think I have enough space there we could put these clubs with it too we need the deuce of clubs and the ace of clubs I believe so there is a jack here that means we can put this 10 here but maybe we want to put the 10 over here under the diamonds and we'll put the spade over here So diamond there, spades go here. Okay. Oh, there's the two clubs right there. That's what we need. We can play that there. So it didn't free up any space, but it did give us... I think we have enough space. Uh, yeah, I think we have enough space to work with now. We'll take this down and we'll put the five over there. Reconstruct it that way, and then play this over here. And then we're going to do some further consolidation right there. Okay, I think there's like a small chance we can actually beat this now, so that's good. Let's see. Who would be the next one we can take out? This is, there's a queen under this, so that doesn't help a ton. And the four's not playable. Yeah, so I don't like that a ton back that up we do have more space a third column can go right here so three columns I'm almost inclined to go for this one first although I'm considering this one I just don't know if we have enough with three columns to do it because we can reconstruct this but maybe we should go for that because then we could get we have a queen of spades there let's go for this one so Queen of Spades, we'll put the clubs together. We should have just enough space to work here. Okay, so the spades go here. Now we can take, the, well, we need the Nine of Spades, don't we? Nine of Spades is under one of these two. So let's see what else we can do here. So six of diamonds, we'll put the diamonds together, hearts together there. Let's swap back, we'll do clubs together. Now we're going to do hearts together again. And then we'll swap the diamonds there. 
we'll swap the clubs. All the clubs will be together there. Now we can pull this. We got two columns. There's the nine of spades, which is what we want. That means we can open up this one right here. Diamond together. Spades can go together. And then we should be able to figure the rest of this out right here. Let's see. Put the diamonds together. Queen of spades will go with those spades right there. Jack of clubs there. Clubs. Diamonds go together there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start right here. Phew. That's a tough one. All right. Got it done. Got it done. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it's the high school. Well, I don't have a large sample size for this. I think it was over 1,000. I don't want to say it was 1,100 in the other computer, but small sample size. But, hey, got that one done. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck.